Jesus has come to me. You are my wife. We began as one. We are going to be one in heaven. Let us have that perspective now. I was repenting in my heart for spending too much money on books to help with health issues. He put his head over my heart. I picked an index card from my little holy quotes file. Let the earth be silent. You alone speak to me in the dwelling of my heart where no other creature has access. I find comfort here, he said. But I've been so bad. A little misplaced zeal, your heart is for me alone, and I find rest and comfort here. I love you so much, Lord, but so poorly do I show it. Nevertheless, I do find peace and comfort here. Times are coming soon that will be very difficult for you and all who inhabit the earth. I ask of you heroic generosity, detachment, commitment. Comfort me. That is why I'm asking of you heroic generosity. You will always be provided for. Try, my beloved wife, to manage a little better. Bridle your compulsions, or at least, at the very least, cry out to me for self-control, that you may not be deceived by them. There are far worse things you could do. Nevertheless, it is a vice and must be overcome through your tender affection for me and desire not to offend me. If you reflect on your love for me and that doing something will hurt me, you will stop sinning. Trust that I know best and let the compulsion go. Follow me into the depths of your heart where we are one. Act from this place. Oh, how I love you, sweet spouse of my heart. If only you knew the comfort I find in you. If only you knew the consolation I receive from the thoughts and opinions I hear in your heart during the course of a day. If only you knew. Hold me close, my beloved, and comfort me. Jesus, I have come to understand that even your unfathomed mercy must at times express itself through difficult world conditions. I weep with you.